Hello everyone, I'm Chris Greaves and I'm Managing Director of Hayes for the Gulf Region. And welcome to a sneak preview of our 2021 GCC Salary and Employment Report. I think it's fair to say that whatever your age, 2020 is likely to go down in history for all of us as the most tumultuous year of our lives. And when reflecting on what's happened to us since March, uh, because we were all similarly impacted in our personal lives, with lockdowns, with restrictions on movement, closed borders, etc., it's easy to assume that we're all similarly impacted in our professional lives. In reality, our data suggests that this is not the case, and as in all previous years, there have been winners and losers. So in a year where GCC governments quickly introduced legislation for companies to temporarily reduce salaries, 34% of our employee respondents said their salary actually increased in 2020 compared to their salary in 2019. And as in every previous year, the biggest single reason given for this salary increase was starting a new job with a new company. In a year where job losses made all the headlines in the media, 19% of employers actually reported an increase in headcount at the end of 2020 compared to 12 months earlier. And in addition, 21% of businesses said they were either unaffected or positively impacted by the crisis. Regrettably, however, a large number of organisations experienced reduced revenues from March and 45% of employers in our survey said their company reduced headcount as a result. And we estimate that about 13% of the employees we engage with as candidates lost their jobs at some stage during 2020. The four sectors which introduced salary reductions to the highest degree were aviation, hospitality and tourism, engineering and property, with 34% of employees in these industries experiencing a pay cut. The most robust, not surprisingly, were technology, pharmaceuticals and life sciences, and also banking and capital markets, where only 6% of employees in these industries suffered a pay reduction. Looking ahead, the majority opinion seems to be that the worst is behind us, and these opinions were obtained just before news broke of several successful vaccine trials. A significant 82% of companies said they were already in recovery or growth phase, and 64% of businesses said they expect to reduce, uh, recruit additional headcount in 2021. Moving away from salaries and headcount, it's worth commenting on the fundamental shift in work patterns that the pandemic has brought about, with a rapid acceleration to mass home working. Uh, this experience has increased employee expectations that some form of home working will be introduced permanently by employers, with 78% of employees, in fact, wanting greater flexibility to their working patterns in 2021. So that's the sneak preview. To request a copy of the full report, please click on the link below. Thank you.